an application of uh, determinant, application of determinant. So we are told to find the area of a triangle when we are given the vertices of the triangle. So we are given the vertices of the triangle, 007814, and we are told to find the area of the triangle. Okay, you can draw the triangle if you want to. You don't have to draw the triangle. But let me just make a sketch. This is a rough sketch. So, um, so the triangle has a point at zero, 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 has a point at one, four. So one, four is somewhere here. One, four. And the triangle has a point at seven, eight. Seven, eight is somewhere here. Seven, eight. Seven, eight. Seven, comma, eight. So we're going to join these uh, three points. Join the three points. And we have, uh, forgive my crooked triangle. So this is the triangle here. And um, all we need is substitute the points in the triangle. So I want to rewrite the equation. Now I know the points, I'm given the points. So the determinant or the area of this triangle. Actually, whenever you're told to find the area of a triangle and you're given the coordinates of the vertices, the formula, this is the formula for finding the area of a triangle when you are given the vertices. So now I want to write a three by three matrix determinant here. And then I want to evaluate the determinant. So area of that triangle A will be uh, the determinant, one half the determinant, so 0 0.5, one half of uh, this determinant. So what I'm going to do is plug the, plug the points in. So uh, the first point is 0, x, y, 0, 1. The second point is 7, 8, 1. And the top point is one, four, one. And I am told to find, evaluate this determinant. I don't have to use the calculator. And actually, um, uh, actually, they might not allow me to use the calculator. They might ask me to evaluate it by hand. So let me see if there's another instruction has an R area equal to the absolute value of D. Okay, so that's all they want me to find the area and that I don't need the left side, I, I just need the right side. So all I have to do now is evaluate this determinant. And anytime, by the way, it's easier to uh, evaluate the determinant using using Row one, I can use any column here. Row one, I can say row one, column one. Okay, so row one, column one for now. So I'm going to start outside. I'm going to multiply my answer by 0 0.5. The important thing is that the area of this triangle will never be zero. Area of a triangle cannot be zero. So if my answer is zero, then something happened. Something that is not supposed to happen, happened. Okay. Uh, by the way, also, let me write the matrix of uh, minus signs, matrix of signs, because it's a three by three. So that zero here is plus, minus, plus, minus, plus, minus, plus, minus, plus. So I'm starting from zero, and zero is, I'm going to start from here. So my plus zero, zero is outside, and I get the minus. 
Okay, the matrix of minus for this is eight, one, four, one. And then the next one is minus zero because of this minus here. So minus zero. And the matrix of minus for that will give me, it's gonna give me zero, one. Let me make sure that this spreads out. So that is going to give me, because this is the zero I'm talking about here. So whatever, what is going to remain, I'm crossing the, or, so I have three, one, one, one. Okay, so three, one. Is it three or see what it is? This is zero, zero, one, seven, eight, one. So actually that's seven. Okay. So I have to pick up uh, what remains. So seven, one, one, one. The important thing is that there is a zero multiplying whatever is inside because a zero is multiplying the two by two is going to be a zero anyway. And now the last one is one. And one is associated with a plus in the matrix of signs. So I am done with this matrix of signs. I might as well clean it up. So I'm just going to take this matrix, uh, uh, matrix of signs up. So I have plus one. Plus one. And the matrix associated to that plus one, if I uh, Cross that out and cross out that out. I have seven, eight, one, four. So seven, eight, one, four. So that is a matrix of uh, minus for one. Because zero is multiplying here, now I'm going to cancel that out because it doesn't really matter what it is. Multiplied by zero is going to be zero. So the answer will be 0.5 multiplied by the matrix here. So seven times four, seven times four. So we have, uh, okay, so we multiply seven by four. So seven multiply four minus one multiply eight, multiply by the one outside. Okay, so, um, so this is going to be 28 minus uh, 8. 28 minus 8 is 20. By the way, that is a 0 0.5 outside. So we want to find the area of this triangle. So this gives us 28 minus eight divided by two, which is the same as 0.5, which is 20 divided by two. And my answer is 10. And remember that we're looking for area. So it is 10 square units. Even if you're not given, you must show that you know that area is square units. So the area of this triangle is 10 square units. The area of the triangle is 10 square units. Area of this triangle is 10 square units. Okay, so that is how to find the area. Even if you put it in the calculator, well, let's see. We might as well actually put it in the calculator and see. So let's do that. Uh, we put our calculator up again. Let's pull our calculator up again. Whatever answer we have, we multiply it by uh, two. So I am going to pull my calculator up and see if what we did is right. So and now I am going to pull up matrix. And I will edit this matrix. 
And it's a three by three matrix. So I'll hit enter, three, enter, three, enter, three, enter. Three, enter, three, enter. And uh, you can see that it still has what I did before, but that's not what I want to do. I have a different three by three matrix, so I gotta be careful. So zero enter. So I'm editing this matrix. Zero enter. One enter. That's for the first row. Second row is seven enter. Eight enter. One enter. And uh, the last row is one enter. Four enter. One enter. All right. Okay, so now I um I have the metrics uh edited. I'm checking to see you want to eyeball what you put in, eyeball what you put in and make sure that it's correct. So it's correct. So I will do second quit. Then I will find the Determinant of matrix A, it is a matrix A. So I'll go to that, find that determinant of matrix A, like we did before. And I close parenthesis, but I hit enter. Then I divide it by two because point, or multiply by point 0.5, divided by two. So my answer, algebraically, and the answer we have by calculator are the same. So if you do it correctly, your answer with calculator and the answer will, by hand will be the same. The important thing is that you should be able to uh, do the application, find the area of a triangle uh, using matrices. Remember the formula, the formula is sometimes given to you. This time we are given the formula. Sometimes you're not going to be given the formula. Uh, sometimes you will not be given the formula and uh, you are still expected to get it right. So therefore, uh, our answer is 10 square units. The area of that triangle is 10 square units. Okay. All right. So uh, that is the area of the triangle. If you have any question, uh, leave your question in the comments.